Today's a big day, fellas. Today is a really big day because today is a day I've been waiting for for probably about two weeks now. I ordered this like three weeks ago and it came to my dad's, but then I got COVID and so I couldn't come. And then I went to a winter camp out so I couldn't go again. So I'm finally here. This has been in this box for about three weeks and I'm super excited and I'm just going to get into unboxing this. It's a lighter, because that's my brand at this point, but it's a very special lighter. And let's get into unboxing this, shall we? Alright. I'm not going to need this anymore. I got tape goop all over my knife. Oh, come off. Alright. Oh boy. Alright. Uh, I can't show you this because I just realized it has my address on it. Price $75. That's expensive for a Zippo. The average Zippo is about maybe $25. So you know this is a special item. Let me read We don't need this. Today's a big day. This is the 65th anniversary Slim Lighter. For me, it's showing backwards. I'm pretty sure it's showing rightwards for you. But uh, for me, it shows backwards for some reason. So it looks like Mills. RT um, but I think it's good for you guys. 65 anniversary. Let me give you a little history on why this is important. In 1950, let me think. What year is it? 2022. So, 65 years ago. That would have been uh, some point in the 60s, I think. I have no clue. I can't do math quick. Math is my worst, worst subject. Um, in like 1950-whatever, 1960-whatever, Zippo came out with a new type of lighter called a slim lighter. Comparatively to this lighter, they were taller and slimmer, but still held the same amount of liquid, and they still had the same windproof design that all Zippos come with, except like pipe lighters, but we don't get into those. And they just came out with this. This cost me $70. Um, and when I saw it, the first thing I was like, I was like, it's $75. I don't, I don't, like, I don't have that much money. I mean, I have enough to buy it. But then I saw it was going away because they have, like, a part on their website that says, buy these now or else they're going to be gone. And I was like, all right, I'll buy it. And we got it. <laughs> and I'm so excited to open this. This is a collectible lighter. So I'm not going to be filling this. I'm not going to be striking this in this video. But we're going to go across the design and the construction of this for anyone who may have not got it yet, which I find unlikely. Or if you're just watching this for fun. Uh, it come in a oh, it does. Comes in a special box. Very nice. Oh my god, it's got wax paper on the inside. All Zippos come in this type of box. I don't know what you call this. It doesn't really feel like cardboard. It's a very... Like... It's like a textured cardboard. I don't know what type of material this is, but they're very special. All Zippos come in boxes like this, but they don't come in that type of box. And I'm pretty sure origin the original ones from like 19 whatever I don't know what date had like this type of design on it on the box and that's why they have it right now. Let's get an unboxing this. Okay, we have 
We have a sticker on the inside. That's interesting. And we have a paper of authenticity. I think they all come with this. Uh, guarantee, the world famous Zippo guarantee. Any Zippo pocket lighter, when returned to our factory, will be put in first class mechanical condition free of charge. For we have yet to charge a cent for the repair of a Zippo pocket lighter, regardless of age or condition. The finish, however, it's not guaranteed. So basically what they're saying is, if you chip the paint, we're not doing that. This guarantee gives you specific legal rights, and you may also have other rights which vary from state to state. Other Zippo products carry their own specific warranties. Basically what they're saying here is if there's a problem with this lighter, no matter what it is, they will fix it. That's something I love about Zippos, is they have their lifetime warranty. It doesn't matter if you purposely break it or it comes broken, they'll fix it for you. It's not wax paper, it's, it's styrofoam. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Look at that. It's so shiny that you can see you can see my phone recording. Look at that. You can see the red dot. That's how shiny the finish is on this. Like not even my knife blade does that. Oh no, it does. Kind of. I don't know. This is smudgy. I use this for like everything. That is so beautiful. So, let's go over this. They didn't come like this, but they have that, like, I don't know what you call that, zigzag design from the 50s. The boxes came with that design on it. And I didn't realize that it was going to be, be a, uh, like, a chrome finish. I thought it was going to be matte, because it looked matte on the website. There's also, like, a little card in here. I don't want to damage it, because we're not going to... Okay, I'm just... I'm just... Oh. There it is. Okay. So, yeah. You've got, like, the carry box, I guess you could call it. Like, this is, like, goes on like this. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to just keep it all in the box. Let's fit this all back in the box. Oh, I love the box, man. I just love this. Because this is going to be great. Just standing this up like this is like a display on my zip, on my lighter display. It's going to be beautiful. All right, let's take this out. I wish I had some gloves. But, my, like, I have, like, I have, like, snow gloves downstairs. We're going to use our sleeves. Actually, I'm wearing long johns because I was out snow blowing earlier. <laughs> So if I can pull up that polyester, or you can use makeshift gloves. There we go. I don't want to damage it. I just want to keep it as is, because, like, this is going to be, like, the first and only time we're going to take this out of the box. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, let me... Let me just see if I can... You know what? I can just shine it up later. Let's just try and keep contact as little as possible. Okay, put you down. It's got some text under it. Congratulations on your purchase of this product, of this quality Zippo product. For great tips and hints of the care, go to whatever. Also, did you know that genuine Zippo products are legally protected by patents and registered designs? Yeah, okay. Just legal text. Apparently, it comes with a yellow sticker on the back, which really sucks because it comes under the number. Each one of these is numbered. So, oh, look at that. That is the original print that came on these lives. That's why they, they put the original 19-whatever print that came on these lives. Let's hope this sticker peels off clean. It doesn't get its, like, goop everywhere. Ooh. Okay, thank God. I'm getting smudged all over this. I'm trying to just grab the sides. And it also comes with a number. 
Oh my god, it's so shiny, you can barely see it. 65 anniversary. 909 of 1500. That is cool. This is the 909th one out of 1500 that was made. Oh. It's got, it's laser engraved. It comes with the wick. And the flint. That is clean. There's the insert right there, and then this is the case. That is so cool. Oh my god. I don't want to scratch it. Okay. Actually, I'm not really getting that much smudge all over it. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, well, <laughs> this is awesome. So that's the 65 anniversary lighter right there. You can see it has the special print on the bottom. It does have a little bit of difference. My, my other slim one doesn't have these letters next to it. I don't know if you can see it. It's so shiny. Focus, please. I don't know. There's like letter and number on the side. That's for dating. And all Zippos come with that for dates later so you can just line it up. So this one is dated for 2022. But that's besides the point. What is special about this is that it's got the original graphic on the bottom of it. And I could go get my other one. But... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Ah, oh, so clean. That is so nice. You can feel it on the, you can feel the engraving on it. Man, that is beautiful. I wish it, I, I hate saying this, but I wish it wasn't so shiny so you could actually see it. Here, now I can actually angle it a little better. Wow, that is something, that is something special right there. This is definitely going into the display. All right, that, that's that. Um, wow. In this box, and then it also comes in this box, which I'm probably gonna keep. Because when it comes to antiques like this, it's always best to just keep the box. Or it's not an antique, it's a collectible. There's a difference between antique, vintage, and collectible. And I'm not going to go into them, but basically antique is like really old. So like if this was from the 60s, it would be antique. But if it's collectible, that means it's new, but it was a limited run. Right? So it's meant to be rare. Like, it was purposely made rare. And then vintage, I don't know the, what vintage really means. I think vintage and antique are kind of interchangeable, but... Wow. It's just, like, mesmerizing how shiny it is. Like, they really put that finish on there. That's it right there. So... Um, this is the second Slim Lighter I own. The other one is from the 70s. So, it does have the original stylized graphic on the bottom. But it is very, uh, very special. I need to put Guarantee back in. It's a very special lighter. Um, where did the Guarantee go? I think it goes... Where does it go? Uh, it went on the inside of the box. There we go. Alright. This is a really special lighter. I mean, is it already gone? So you can't really buy one now? Sorry. But this is a really special lighter. And just, it feels so, cr like, crisp. 
It really does. It just, it's so nice. And, uh, I mean, it's a little late to buy one now, so, I mean. You're kind of shit out of luck now, but. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. I just, I'm kind of speechless. I can't really say anything. I mean, I've been waiting so long to get this. Let's take it out one more time. Just look at it. All right, yeah, I did get some smudge on there. Let's see if we can get it out. There we go. I'm just going to do that when we're done with it, but man. That's it right there. You can see my phone screen. I'm doing like the mirror effect. Like the infinite loop effect when you put two mirrors up together but instead it's a phone screen and the zippo lighter ah oh, that's so nice all right so i think i should probably conclude this what do i like about this well pretty much everything <laughs> um i it's it's just nice i mean the laser engraving on it is really crisp i can see each individual line on there. I wish my phone could focus. Thanks. I'll let them know and hopefully it gets straightened out. Thank you. I, wi I said I wish my phone... This is why f filming with a phone just sucks. I said I wish my phone could focus... All right, whatever. You can see every individual line that goes into that design. Like, yeah, every single one you can see. And they all line up. Why is my phone screen really dark all of a sudden? It was, like, super bright. I hate this. All right. You can see every individual line. And they all come together for those triangles on the design. It's just really smooth. I like a lot about it. There's not much that I don't like about it. Um, I'd say the one thing I don't like about it is that it's a collectible and I can't really use it. <laughs> and, I mean, that's kind of a lame excuse. I could technically strike it. I just don't want to. But it's definitely a fine addition to the to my collection. And, um, would I say it's worth $75? Absolutely, I would say it's worth $75. It is very, very beautiful. Um, both just stylized, graphic. The whole unboxing of it just feels special. It's like when you unbox an iPhone, how, like, there's that smooth box that just, like, has the vacuum. And then when you take it off, it's just, like, it's like the presentation of opening it. I mean, the same can be said here. It's just like, you got this, and you take this out, and you got this, and then it's like, you got this display, which is very convenient, because I can just... Can I stand it up? I can lean it against something. For people that have, like, a... What do you call it? A turnstile that has, like, Zippos in it? turn A Zippo turnstile? That's what you'd call it? I'd, this would fit in that perfectly, and I think they designed the box for the people who have those. I wish I had one. I don't. The only reason I don't have one is because I don't have enough lighters to put in it. Eventually, I'll get enough, but until that day comes, I'm just going to have a wall. Um, but I could lean this up against the wall. And I'd say this is like... This is like the same width as you have the on the spaces of that turnstile. So, it would be very convenient for someone who wants to just add it to their collection. I'm getting smudge on it. There we go. And, uh, yeah. That's about all I can say for it. It's, it's just, it's very clean, lighter, and, um, there's not much I don't like about it. It's just, they did a great job on it. I mean, pretty much with all their boxes, I can say the same thing. 
Okay, fine. Stay on there. Where you have it in the box, and then it comes out of the box, like that. I can say that for all their lighters, how they have that presentation. And I think that's a very good marketing technique that they are using, because if you didn't know, Apple owns about 16 patents just for the box. Steve Jobs knew that the box and unboxing your phone, he wanted to make that a very special occasion because he knew that that moment right there was going to seal the deal for whoever bought it. Also, again... What? There. Better. He knew that was a... Oh, my God. Why? I'm trying, trying to adjust the brightness. There we go. Um, He knew that was a very special occasion and would seal the deal onto what your impressions would be later down the line. This is the same idea. You have this very smooth box that not only makes a unique situation, I suppose you could say, for opening it, but it also provides a display for your new lighter. As for the lighter itself, um, there's not much I can say about it. They did a great job on designing it. Um, and... I, I especially liked the number on the back. It would have been cool to get a number like 1,000 to 1,500 or 1,500 to 1,500 or 1 of 1,500 or something special like that. But the chances of that are so low that I'm not really too mad about that. And uh, they, they did a great job. They do a great job with most of their lighters. I wouldn't... I can't really complain about anything. Um... The only, I I mean, I I would say that $75 is worth it, but it definitely is a bit pricey. Um, of course, it is, an, it, it is a collectible, so I would say most of the price comes from the fact that, you know, it's, it's a collectible, it's, it's a limited run, it's only $1,500, right? So that, um, that low of a number, that... Like, you know, the idea of supply and demand, where if you have something that's low in supply, you have high demand. It's the same idea here. Um, it's just, I don't think 1500 is a low enough number for it to be $75. I'm just going to be honest with you, 1500 of something is a lot of something. They could have done, like, maybe 10000 and maybe it'd be worth seventy five. I'd say that it may be worth sixty. I wouldn't say it's worth, like, 75 I think I got a little gypped on the 15 extra because, well, I mean, that also went into, like, shipping and, stu and tax and stuff like that. But I would say it's a very nice lighter. I would say that if you're, con if I mean, it's too late now. But if you bought one and you still haven't gotten it for some reason, uh, don't be concerned about what you're going to get because you're getting a very nice lighter and a very nice thing for your display if you have one. I'm trying to put this in the case without touching it with my fingers. There. Um, yeah, that's about it. I've pretty much said everything I can say. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I don't really have much else to say other than that, just because it's it's a very nice little setup they got here. Um, and I was I was excited getting it, and I'm still excited having it. Um, anyway, that's about it. See you.